Hello everyone, Haley and I are back at the Goodwill Bins today, but it's not just gonna be a Goodwill Bins video. I thought it'd be cool to just kind of take you through our whole day. Like we're usually at the Bins for only like maybe an hour or so, and that's the video. But today we're gonna try to film pretty much everything we do in a normal business day here at Harry Tornado LLC. So first things first, we're gonna get it here and see if we can find some cool stuff to flip. Usually when we find golf clubs, they are old and worthless, just like that one. A lot of this stuff was left over from yesterday. I wasn't here yesterday, but sometimes you can just look and see how stuff is thrown in here. You can tell that they just like scooped everything left over and put it back in the bin, which obviously is not ideal. Looks like this bin might have plush in it. A little DeWalt tube bag, pull bag. Kind of nice. I've been digging through here for a couple minutes. I haven't found anything, so it makes me feel like this is probably a leftover bin of plush as well. People probably went through this yesterday, pulled out all the good stuff, and then this is just a bunch of, you know, nothing. Some cooler bar, but uh, it's not really the best time of year for those. Got some hey dudes. This might do well. Throw those in. No freaking way, dude. No freaking way. No freaking way that's just sitting there. No freaking way, dude. Oh my gosh. No way. Scotty Cameron. That's great. This is like literally no my way. bucket list item. And we were just getting into golf yeah. too, like perfect pot time. And the, what it that's um that's a golf trainer, it's like a putter trainer. That's worth money too. And we got a set of Mizuno irons here, Mizuno MP60s. That's and your bucket list item. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Are you shaking? Yeah, I was literally. <laughs> Wait, are you getting this whole thing? thing? Yeah. Well, the bag too. What's the bag? It's a sand bag. Yeah, sure. Why not? Where's the zone? Can you show you? My man. <laughs> I've been looking for one of these forever. Oh. Uh, and the set of Mizuno MP60s. I've never seen something like that in my yeah. life. That is crazy. That's crazy. Hey, good job. Thanks, good man. Job. Thanks, man. Still trying to walk around and look for stuff, but I haven't really found anything yet. Normally, I'd be kind of bummed out, but all I could think about is how cool this first set of golf clubs is. So it was very excited for me. It's so cool that we can be excited for each other. Like when we, when people here like fun stuff, that's good. We don't get like jealous or anything. We're just like happy and we just hope that it'll happen to us eventually. No. You guys, it's full of it's full of Wii games. What? Okay. I'm gonna look at that in a second. Let's see. Got a Nintendo DS game here. It's actually in here. Don't know how much this is worth, but we'll throw it in. Our friend Sarah over there gave us this cool Hogwarts like kind of like a it's not wood, it's like a pasteboard or something, but a nice little wall flap. We could throw this in the booth for a couple bucks. I don't want to ship it. We got some oh money. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's literally just like a foam thing. Of foam stress ball. <laughs> Whenever you're stressed about finances, just squeeze that. Is, are golf clubs individual or by the set? Dollar piece and bags 250. Okay. Thank you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars for the clubs and 250. So eleven dollars and fifty cents. Looks like we got a little Ochio bag over here. OGOs almost always have some sort of extra embroidery on them, but OGO bags are such high quality that you can probably still sell. I don't know why. Doesn't that look? No, I, I thought it was upside down, but that's the top of the bag. I might grab this. I know you can possibly remove the embroidery with a seam ripper, but I've tried that before and it is not worth it. So I think I'll just grab this. 
not worry about removing the embroidery and just sell as is. What is this? Oh, look at that. U.S. Open Pinehurst, number one. Number two. I don't know, it's like a toiletry kit or something from Pinehurst. That's ah, crazy. I did find a thing of Wii games, but I don't think any of them are much worth much. Resorts, that's good. This one is not in there, oh. but I, there's a few. Uh, Wii Play Motion, there's Wii Sports for Wii sure. Sports is good. Um, Wii Party. Wii Party is in there. Wii Party is good. Wii Party is like 50 bucks. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is in there. Yokai watch, fleshy shoulders. Yeah, I found that one separately. I don't know how much it's worth. And then I had some manuals. Oh, I wouldn't get the manuals. But I was trying to make sure that no like discs were yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's Wii Sport. Yep, there it is. Wii Sports, Sports Resort. Resort. You got the hard case and the soft case. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, so I know this bag is only Urban Expressions. It's not the best brand in the world, but look how cute this is. I love the style. I don't even know what kind of style this would be with the knot and the handle. And oh, I just, I like it. <laughs> Should I get this Lopro? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's got a nice like leather handle. Not worth a ton, but it's nice. It's got this cute little sack with the little, oh, uh, little tassels on there. Little tassels. Yep. Little Vera, little Harley Davidson plush. Mean bag plush. It's dirty, but we. I had one very similar to that one we found in Florida that was blue, and it was also dirty, and it sold for like seventeen dollars or so. So I still think it's worth it. Just throw it in the wash. Yeah. Try to get it as clean as possible, and then it's only going to cost maybe two dollars. Yeah. But good day. Good day. No plush either. No Take plush, that. Yeah. Take that, you haters. <laughs> Say oh, we only buy plush. <laughs> And then I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine golf clubs and a golf bag. Thank you. You too. All right. So that total was what? 59 something you said? Um, in here. 59.86. 59.86, which is crazy because we would have literally, like, if we had seen that Scotty Cameron at Goodwill for $60, we would have just bought, bought that $60. just for $60. Literally just that club pays for so much. <laughs> I think I've already said in the video, but literally we get asked all the time, like, what's your bucket list item? Like something you really want to find that you've never found. And my answer has always been a Scotty Cameron putter, any Scotty Cameron putter. And, you know, for cheap, like you can go to like a pawn shop or whatever, find it, but they're expensive. But to find one for a dollar, that's nuts. And that's my that's my bucket list item. I'm good for the rest of my life. Okay, you guys, we're back at the booth. They back just the booth. opened. We are going to back throw up. in some stuff from our last video from the yard sale. You guys watch that. Back I think we're going to put this in there, even though Josh said it is worth about $40 yes. on eBay. But I, I don't mean, think we want to, we don't want to ship it. Yeah, I guess we can put what do you think? I don't know. I just don't think. I don't think we're going to get enough traffic in the booth to have someone come to willing to pay $40 for that. It does have some nice crazing in there. Is this crazing? I don't know. We'll put it in the booth just in case. Yeah, we'll fix it up and then see what see what I happens. I found this purse today at the bins. It's B. Mikowski. I didn't look it up. It does feel like real leather, but it's pink. I figured we'd throw that in the booth as well. Or maybe, what if B. Mikowski is like really good and I don't know what I'm talking about. Either way, we'll throw in the booth. Uh, we have the fragile stuff from the last video. Should we put the Scotty Cameron in the booth? Oh, no. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Doing well, how are you? Oh, I love the bag. It's the best. Uh, Hulkin really needs to sponsor our channel because yes. this is like the third video in a row where People keep. I have a oh. duffel bag for you. Guess what he found it is? Scotty Cameron putter for a dollar. That's been on your list for five years. Yeah. Two hundred eighty bucks. Yeah. It was a whole set. It was also a set of Mizuno MP60 irons. Those were like two fifty. So it was very. I was like, they're just sitting on top of the bin. Also found Wii Sports, Wii Resort, Wii Resort, Wii Sports, Wii Sports Party or Wii Sports something. Wii Sports Party. Uh, Wii Party. I think Wii Party. Party. Was in there. One of them's like forty or fifty bucks, isn't it? Please. Yeah, we parties up there. Yeah. It's a good one. It was a good day. Yeah. Are you keeping those guys cameras? I think I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know. It's a blade putter. And I, was, I don't really like blade putters. So if I sell it, I'll just use the money to buy another golf club. <laughs> the mall is looking very 
Very stocked. Tupperware set. Shout out Commonwealth Picker. $150. Really? Let's go check on the boots. See, I haven't really been paying attention to the website to see what we've been selling and what we haven't been selling. Looks like some things are at least disheveled, which means people have been shopping. Uh, it's very disheveled. I guess we did sell, we had four of these left and now we yeah. only have one. So hopefully we've sold them so I didn't steal them. Garbage truck, that's not ours. Checking the gumball machine here. Not Let's bad. go look at that penny in there. How rude. Uh, we are just have to go to the police department today and press charges. We're going to check the cameras. There's a camera up there watching the tape on it or something. Uh, somebody probably... Wait, is that a quarter or is that a nickel? That's a quarter. That's a nickel. Oh, that's, that's a quarter. That's a quarter. I don't know why it has tape on one side. Yeah, somebody probably put tape on it so they could see it in the video. People have Maybe. done that okay, in the past. Well, thanks for your gumball. Thank you. Okay. Uh, two, four, six... Eight dollars and twenty-six cents. Mm. I don't know how we're gonna color the penny in on the, <laughs> on the <gumball laughs> cart. Hello, how are you? Uh, how are you? I'm better than I deserve. Oh, oh, oh. Is there, there more in there? Yeah. What was the total? Little straggler. Eight dollars and twenty-five cents or twenty-six cents. So eight dollars and fifty-one cents. So we're in the back of the back of the mall here. This is kind of what it looks back here. We use the computer to print off all of our labels and barcodes and stuff but we've actually sold a good amount of stuff in the booth we it's got super exciting so we sold this framed tobacco leaf which i don't remember which video that was in it was, it was a, long a big time ago. like print not a print but it had an actual tobacco leaf on it we sold it for 50 bucks yeah that was really good a couple days ago um a browning jacket just a couple of pictures um we sold a gamecock court board i'm trying to think of things that you guys like remember well, yeah the gamecock court board was in the very last um, video we paid five dollars for that which is probably much but hey double our money no yeah, well ten percent so four dollar yeah. profit um, the stool that... somebody gave us that stool uh, like a vendor that was leaving, she's like, yeah, you can have the stool. And yeah, then very nice. Very, very nice. We just we wanted just, to get rid of it because yeah. it was kind of big. So. It was taking up too much space in our booth. Sold so that for $5. The one thing that does really well in our booth that we've noticed is brass stuff. We put um, a pair of brass candlestick holders in here probably like last week or something, yeah. and it's already sold. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we sold a good bit of stuff. We sold two golf clubs for 10 bucks. Yeah, I knew there were golf clubs missing out of the bag. Yeah. But, yeah. Those journals, those, uh, that Christian journal, we got those at the bins a couple months ago. We sold, I don't know, like maybe five of them, five mm -hmm. or six of them here, and then the rest of them sold on whatnot. They did really well. We had like 30 on whatnot. They were selling, not not crazy, but like six, eight seven, bucks. eight bucks. Eight yeah, bucks, plus yeah. shipping. So that was really good. So yeah, those are all of our sales for the, the month. Bell Very bookings. exciting. Yeah. Not bad for people that don't really put a lot of time into their booth. <laughs> we used to have to handwrite all of our labels when we first started in the booth, and the barcode system is a lot better. They haven't made it mandatory yet, so I think there's still a couple vendors, like this person over here still does handwritten labels, but the barcodes just make it a lot easier. So if you guys remember like maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, when we did our first storage unit video, we found that big snap-on toolbox uh, in the unit, and it was very valuable. It's still very valuable, and we were really excited about it, but since then, it has been sitting in our warehouse. We, we cleaned it and have it ready to sell, to sell, but we haven't done anything with it yet. So I was talking to Steven, the guy that owns the, and runs the, um, the vendor mall where we have our booth, if we could just like rent another space up front or whatever to bring the toolbox there. Cause we just bring it there and like, they can still take their 10% commission. I'm thinking about getting like listing it for $2,500 there. I feel like that's fair. Yeah. I think that way the, nobody has to come to our house or we have to deal with Facebook yeah. marketplace or anything like that. We can just like put it in the booth. We can actually put it on Facebook marketplace and be like, Hey, yeah. the snap on thing is, is that overstock marketplace? Yeah. First come, come first serve. It, do know? not message me. Do not ask if this is available. Is this available? Do not come to my house. It's here. Mm -hmm. So it has roughly a 0% chance of selling at our house. Uh, and maybe like Roughly. a 10% chance of selling at the booth. Uh, there's definitely a big market for snap-on tool, tool chests. It's just like finding someone with enough money to buy it. So we'll see. At the very least, it does get it out of our warehouse. Yes. If you guys notice in today's video, my hair is looking a little long. disheveled and long. <laughs> I don't know why, I, like I get my haircut like once a month, maybe once every like five weeks. And I wait until I'm like visually annoyed with my hair before I make an appointment. I do the same thing. I think I need to like make the next appointment for like four weeks from today when I get my haircut. I'm gonna go get my haircut now. Did it work? 
<laughs> I don't know. I think it, you probably can't even tell the difference. I didn't get that much taken off the top. It just got a little off the sides. It Keep good. it nice and nice and sleek. Haley and I had a nice romantic lunch at our local Chick-fil-A. We've actually got a whatnot show in like 10 minutes, but I do want to come try to hit some of these irons, these Mizuno MP60s. Very nice clubs, but they're blades. Uh, basically, that just means they're very, very thin. And the thinner the club, the more you can control it when you hit it, but the harder it is to hit. So I'm gonna take a little seven iron here. I do not play blades, by the way. I'm not <laughs> good enough to play blades, uh, but I'm gonna try to hit some balls and to see what they feel like. have a couple minutes and I'm using those couple minutes to hit some golf balls. Oh that one felt good. Get your hey most how you doing? How you doing? Yes. Yes honey. Smells like fish. A little fish breath. Let's try to hit the four iron. I hit the seven iron successfully. I think I'll stick with my regular clubs. About to start a whatnot show. We have approximately 30 seconds and I, <laughs> I haven't even set up the camera yet. That uh, happens all the time. I know, I know. <laughs> Basically, if you guys don't know, we this is an extra tripod that needs to be over here. I've got a little tripod right there. We put this on, holds our phone. We've got a ring light up there with another phone holder for some reason. And then we just have our computer. So we just have phone and computer, we're on the whatnot show. Easy peasy. We're doing Disney pins today because even though we've been selling Disney pins for the last six months, we still have these boxes down here filled with them. So we'll see if we can sell some today. Good morning. Good morning. So welcome in, folks. Yes, today. Welcome in. Hey, Mimi. Thanks uh, for being here. We're doing Disney pins, folks. Yes, Viking. You know Shifty us. Shifty Bricks Country Road Design. We have had a great day around here at Harry Tornado LLC. It has been a great day. We're filming a YouTube video today, a whole daily vlog. Usually it's like just the bins or just like one aspect of our day, but today we're filming the whole thing. We do have a cool one here though. We'll start this one out. Little uh, Magic Kingdom and the fireworks spin in the back. One second left and Groco 926. Groco first get the gong. The first purchase um, gets the gong, Josh. The gong? It's back there. But I Thank you so much. Stick. I don't know where the gong what? stick is. How okay. did you lose it? Using the Sharpie. Thank you so much, first time buyers. Always get the gong for the most part, unless I lose my gong stick. One dollar, 10 seconds on the Red Skull. Big Bill, Big Bill Casey, thank you so much. Bill, question for you. I see that the last I checked, there was a package that you bought from us like a month and a half ago. It had like two lounge flies in it and the Chicago Bulls pennant and one other thing. Tracking, as of like last week, said it hadn't been signed, like scanned into the post office yet, uh, but we definitely did drop that off. So have you, seen it you got it oh awesome oh sweet so glad so glad sweet. you got that okay okay next up tinkerbell pin walt disney's picture in there tinkerbell's off to the side like oh look there's my creator big lot first 98 success. taking it oh, down first purchase first Thank time buyers so get the gong one dollar ten seconds tinkerbell come on focus camera focus there we go Love your guys' channel. I've been watching on YouTube for a big lot, 98. Thank you so much. Watch on YouTube for a while, and I recently started selling whatnot due to your success. Well, Royal Thrifts, thank you so much. Uh, I'll be the first to tell you our success and whatnot is not typical. We do have a huge advantage because lovely people like you guys show up to our shows and are willing to support us. Uh, but plenty of non-social media people are winning on whatnot every single day. And Jen, 2104101, taking it down. First, that was not very good. First time buyer. Oh my gosh, the stick is just not good. It's good as the gong stick. That's slightly better, I guess. Any Muppets? I don't think we have any Muppets. Fluffinator. Taking yeah, we're it out of Muppets pins. Let's do a multi-pack. This is what I call the Disney uh, hunks. The hunks of Disney. All a bunch of mail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins. One money. The hunks are One dollar. plus dopey on there. Dopey is a hunk. Dopey <laughs> is a Disney hunk. PJ Hutchinson taking it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, cars. I don't think we have any more cars. I think we sold the cars. This spells Tinkerbell. Raw, Raul, 334. Thank you, Raul. I don't think I dumped out the Baymax. I think the Baymax are still in a bag somewhere. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of Star Wars figures. <laughs> Literally hundreds. <laughs> Haley yeah. and Wes, she spells Haley it right. Haley and Wes, first purchase. And you spell your name exactly hope, like mine. Hope you heard the gong. The That's gong so exciting. Thank you so much. Today. I think it's supposed to be like a, a balloon. It's like a globe on top. 
Come on, focus. Focus, camera, I don't have time for this. Cool, cool gems. Cool gems, first purchase. Thank you for the first purchase, cool Thank gems. Thank you so much. You are super cool. Haunted Mansion keychain key. Key on a keychain. What do you guys think this key is for? Probably the Haunted Mansion, right? You can take this to Disney World and they'll let you right on. Sorry, sir, you can't go back there. Cast members only. And you can say, excuse me, <laughs> I, have the key. I have the key. One second left and Jen 2104101. Truck Lowe's taking it down, first time buyer. God, it's such a terrible gong. Let's... That just is not very good. I'm so sorry. I need Pua the pig. We definitely don't have any Puas. Okay. Most of our collection is like 10 to 15 years old, so it was before Moana came out. I have just found some that Bill, we have not thank you. sold yet. It's Mickey as Jack Ske Skecklington. Wow. Skellington. Mickey and Jack Skellington? No, Mickey I mean, it's like a combination of like two popular characters. And we've we've Look had this stuff in our garage for five months and we haven't even seen these yet. One dollar, 10 seconds. Mickey Mouse dressed up as Jack Skellington. $23 on this one, go once, go in twice. And Big Bill taking it down. Big Bill, Bill, thank you thank so much. You. And D&D &D resellers. You guys, Paul Philly down. Flipper is in the house. Paul? Paul's here? Paul! Huge fan, Paul. Huge fan of you as well. Paul, I wish we hung out more. <laughs> I wish you didn't live seven hours away. Josh, nice haircut. Thank you so much, Debus. I just got it cut earlier today. Got another Marvel. This is Black Window. Black Window, one dollar. Two seconds left. <laughs> And Big Bill taking it for five. All right, guys. You guys, you guys should follow Flip the World. Disney pin. Start auction. Awesome. Ready for okay, this? See, now you, five now seconds, starting. sudden death. Five seconds, sudden death. Five, four, three. Okay, two, whose birthday? Is it Chris? One. Two to love. Taking it five seconds. That's crazy. Is it Chris's birthday? <coughs> Josh, it's Chris's birthday. What are we um, going to send him? Send him. Why are we sending him something? It's his birthday. He didn't send me anything on my birthday. He did. Yes, he did. What did he say? He was giving you the Chick Fil A. He said, "Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> he did actually send me something on my What's birthday." Wrong? I tell you what, Chris, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a whole. Here, I'll show it to you. <laughs> so stupid. I'm gonna send you a whole pack of USPS Priority Large mailing boxes, shipped right to your door. Uh, you just have to go to USPS.com, create an account, and then just order them, and just tell them to put it on my tab, and they'll send it right to you. <laughs> Jack Skellington. It doesn't give people time to bid. Refreshingly scary since 1993. Really cool. I know, but it's fun. Okay, sudden death. <laughs> two seconds. Two seconds. Here we go. One, uh, two, one. Nine dollars. Oh, I feel like that's D &D probably. Reseller. I feel like that's probably what it would have sold for with a 15 second auction. Maybe. That's that is too fast though. Way too fast. Okay. Two seconds left. What? And no, sold to D&D &D okay. resellers. Here he is. Hey, Mose. He's looking at me. Hey. I got some eye boogers. Got He's a got a bunch of, of leaves in his yeah. tail. I got so many leaves. Quit look at me. You know, Disney pin? You sniff it? Yeah, he's It passed inspection. You're good to go. I thought this was pretty. You want to run that? Sure. Jewelry set. Necklace and earrings. Necklace and earrings. A cute little, like, Mickey crystal. Oh, oh Josh. I, I dropped them. Oh, oh, they're, they're stuck on the thing. <laughs> here they are. Who got them? D and D, thank you so D &D much. D and D resellers. Well, here's, hopefully, you got a good look at it. Here's what it looks like Josh again. Dropped it. They're new earrings and a necklace. Heading your way. <laughs> so we just finished our whatnot auction. I did screen record, and I think I used audio this time. So you guys might have just seen a little snippet of our actual auction. So hopefully you did. If you didn't, just ignore everything I just said. Uh, it was very good. We sold Disney pins. We still have thousands of Disney pins. Shout out Philly Flipper. He's oh, live. Shout out Philly Flipper. He's live. Uh, we, where is it? So in our Disney pin show today, we we're only live for what, like an hour, an hour and five hour minutes? Hour and four minutes. So. We sold 104 items total right there on a little pinky. We did a total of $1,319 in sales and after whatnot fees, uh, we made $1,136. And 83 cents. Obviously, all of our cost of goods were zero because this was part of the, the Disney haul we had back in September on the channel. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. Uh, but that was really good. We paid $10,000 for like over 10,000 items. Uh, and this was 104 Disney pins that just sold for $1,319. So, yeah, pure profit. Really good. And that's like an average of like 13 bucks a piece. So, nothing too crazy, just a lot of volume, which is really what Whatnot is about.
if you guys remember, we did a video maybe like two months ago updating you on the Disney haul in, in total, like how much stuff we've sold, whether on eBay or in our booth or whatnot, mainly like literally 99% of the stuff we've sold is sold and whatnot. Uh, I just updated the numbers with our last two or three shows on the spreadsheet that we were keeping. Uh, and total since September, since we bought everything for $10,000, uh, after fees and shipping, we've done a total revenue of $109,522. And 97 cents and then after the ten thousand dollars that we spent on it gave us a total profit of ninety nine thousand five hundred and twenty two dollars and 97 cents again that's after fees after cost Absolutely of goods wild. now that we've sold more stuff we, we've definitely had over ten thousand items so we paid less than a dollar per piece um and it was just it was crazy we've sold action figures we sold graphic novels we've sold action uh, star wars action figures disney pins plush uh, so almost $100,000 in profit. And again, we still have all these Disney pins. We have all those Star Wars action figures. We still oh. have <laughs> literally all of this stuff is part of the Disney haul. All those Star Wars over there, pill uh, plush uh, blankets and hats and more pins. We've got more, more hats over there. This is another box of uh, Christmas ornaments. We've got more Christmas ornaments over there. All these action figures, all that up top, all the stuff on this table, all these comics and graphic novels that's a whole box of like pens and stuff there more of these star wars action figures i mean i think it's possible for us to end up making like one hundred and fifty thousand. do you think that's doable I don't you don't think that's doable that might be pushing it. maybe 120 120 125 000 i think it's too. oh we have this did you list these on ebay i have not yet but i've taken pictures, We've taken pictures. we had a we had a couple we didn't know it, we had a couple complete sets of these like star wars packs that comes with the mini movie poster and four figures and when you put a complete set together they form like this cool like I don't know if you can see that this cool like star wars they're thing not in order. They're, they're not in order but it says star wars well one two three four five and six they retail for forty dollars a piece but there's at the time we last looked there's only one complete set of them listed on ebay for a thousand dollars so <laughs> we're gonna put those on ebay but everything else i'll just go to whatnot because it's it's working why wouldn't we we're about to take Moe's for a W-A-L-K. Do you know what that means? A walk? He's ready, he's ready. But I was just, <laughs> you don't have to sit. We'll walk in just a second. I was emptying out my pockets and I saw these quarters and then I remembered that we have to do the, the gumball poster thing. If you guys don't know, we have a little poster tracking our income with the gumball machine to figure out when it's gonna be profitable. We spent $250 on the machine and all the initial candy. Uh, and then as we make $1, each of these gumballs is $1. Uh, as we make a dollar, we color in a gumball. So today, what do we have? $8.51? Yes. Is that what it was? So I've got to color in 8.51 gumballs. I'm just remembering the last time we did the chart update, I had an extra quarter and I tried to color in like one quarter of a gumball, but I instead colored in three quarters. <laughs> I remember specifically, I was like, oops, I'll fix that later. So 8.5, I'm just going to, I'm just going to color in the rest of this gumball here and that'll make up for the 0.51 and then we'll color in eight more and there we go eight more balls colored in i would say maybe halfway i don't know exactly account but roughly halfway and we started this back in october so it's been, it's been a while maybe by next october we'll have made enough money to finally be at the break-even point with that machine so it's like 405 in the afternoon i feel like today's already been pretty productive we oh, yes <laughs> got a haircut looking snazzy we went to the bins found the coolest thing the item on my bucket list for the last five years literally if you would have said like josh what's the one thing that if you found at the bins today would just like make your whole day year even I would have said a Scotty Cameron putter. I'm pretty putter. sure we've done some kind of like Q&A thing either on Whatnot or something mm -hmm. recently. And Josh said his his one, number one fan, find was to find a Scotty Cameron. Yep. And you found it. And I even texted uh, my friend John uh, from Sacked Golf. John and Ashley, they had a Sacked Golf YouTube channel. I was like, dude, I'm literally shaking. Look at this. And he's like, that's crazy. They find Scotties all the time, but they go, they live in Florida and they go to like garage sales. And you can find Scotty Cameron's at garage sales in Florida pretty often, but they're not a dollar. You know, they might be 50 bucks or a hundred bucks, whatever. Still profitable, but to find one for a dollar is just, oh, it's absolutely crazy. So today has been a very good day. Sometimes Moe's likes to hang out with these guys that live over here. There's like six or seven miniature donkeys and like four goats. I guess they're all in the, the house back there. There's at one the up moment. there on this little perch. Yeah, one little goat. You can't see them probably. Yeah, I think but... There might be a donkey in the very back. I don't oh, yeah. know. They're not in the front part today, but Moe's sometimes likes to go say hello, even though it can get a little aggressive. Yes. I don't think he likes being on the other side of the fence. It like creates this like 
tension between him and yes. the donkeys. And he's on a leash. I thought about going to the driving range in today's video. We have a membership at a, a golf course that's really close here. We can go to the range. We do go to the range all the time now. But we were playing pickleball in like an hour and a half. So I don't think we have time to do both. But on the subject of golf, and because we found so many cool golf clubs in today's video, I feel like this is a perfect video to announce this, I guess. A lot of you guys have been asking if we would ever create a second YouTube channel. And I think we're going to try it. Harry Tornado Golf. It's going to be like some golf vlogs. Haley and I just playing golf, trying to get better, trying to improve the game, and like talking in between shots, just like non-reselling content mm -hmm. whatever's going on in our lives at the time right. so we can show it'll... a lot of like personal stuff we can do like q a's well like mm -hmm. it'll it'll evolve as we go but it will be primarily like us playing golf together josh is very good Doing i'm golf not trips. so good i'm not so... very good Haley's Haley's learning. She's I'm learning. she's getting she's getting better. So that'll be exciting. But I think it'd be cool. If we can do like trips, like if we go to like Phoenix or whatever, we could play, do a golf video, play in a golf course, doing a golf vlog, and then go thrifting while we're there. So we get two videos out of yeah. one trip. So if you're interested in content like that, you can definitely subscribe to the channel that we have created, but we haven't posted a video yet. The name is gonna be Harry Tornado Golf. I know that's kind of boring, but I don't know. I feel like most bigger YouTubers, when they create a second channel, it almost always has like their name in it somewhere like either they put a two behind it or you know like there's a bug landed on my hand either they put a number behind it or they just add some words to it so people can still see them in like organic search so harry tornado golf it is but the first name i came up with was fairway flips because i think i love alliteration and it's like golf and reselling but then i was like ah it's not it's not reselling content so harry tornado golf it is subscribe if you're interested first video coming soon there was an amazon package on the porch when we got back from the walk and i think i think it's something golf related yes this is a grip like a grip replacement set if you guys remember maybe like two months ago i found that set of ping irons at the gibble bins but they didn't have any grips on there there is plenty of local shops that regrip golf clubs but they charge like two dollars and fifty cents a piece uh, plus you have to buy the grips so i found a good deal on the grips but instead of it's like it's like 10 clubs total, it's every $25 that we have to pay to regrip re the clubs. But I found this set on Amazon for like $16. All you need is a vice clamp. It has like a vice grip thing in here. It has the glue, it has uh, the tape and the glue solvent, all that stuff. Uh, it only has 15 grip tape strips, so you can regrip 15 clubs with this. But for 16 bucks, I feel like that was a pretty good deal. And once I put the grips I have on the clubs we found that we can sell those clubs for probably like a hundred bucks or so. Without the grips, they're probably worth like 50 or so, 50 to 40. I've got my personal putter in this vise. Seems like it's pretty, pretty sturdy in there. So I'm gonna take this little blade, which is used to cut off. It's like a little hook blade. It's used to cut off the old grip. All right. I don't really know if you're supposed to take off the old tape or not. I feel like you probably should. Because if you keep putting the new tape over the old tape, I guess it would like gum up after a while. I will say this is a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. It's got a twist. Ugh, need something to hold it with. There we go. Just needed. A little bit more traction. I don't know, my vice is coming off. Almost there. Yeah. Man. Okay, it took way, way longer than I thought. I think maybe this putter shaft is slightly thicker than a normal putter shaft, but after literally like 10 minutes of pushing and pushing and pushing, I finally got it. It's on there. New putter grip install now the question that i'm asking myself is was it worth saving two dollars and fifty cents to do this myself because i'm literally sweating right now it was so hard i i think yes i think yes it was definitely worth it so it's a couple days later and i'm editing today's video to post it and we're currently at like 35 minutes already a lot of you guys have been asking for longer videos so hopefully you've enjoyed today's video but i have to I, I realized that i haven't even created the golf youtube channel yet to link in the description of this video so i'm going to do that real fast and there she goes folks very simple no subscribers no content yet the description josh and Haley, full-time reseller youtubers filming ourselves being bad 
and golf. I feel like that's <laughs> that's a very accurate description. If you guys want to watch this channel whenever we do post our first video, definitely subscribe down below. It would be so cool if we could get this channel to a thousand subscribers and then eventually in the next couple months or so hit 4,000 hours of watch time so we could apply for monetization on this channel and then get to a point where we could make at least enough money from ad revenue on the second channel to pay for our golf. We do golf for free at the club we're members at, but the membership is $220 a month. So I feel like that's a reasonable amount of money to make from a second channel. Eventually, it'll take a couple months to get uh, the subscribers and the watch done. But if you guys want to help us get there, that would be so dope. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you want to see the big Disney haul we got a couple months ago, click this video here on the left. And if you want to see another really cool thing we found at the Goodwill Bins recently, click this video here on the right.